Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's Mobile Mechanics. We've just come to look at a Seat Ibiza 1.6 TDI it's from the VW Group. So inside the car here, when you switch the ignition on or start up, we're getting this. Flashing glow plugs, DPF symbol and the engine management light. Car is also under uh, reduced power mode, so it's in limp mode. And we've just run a diagnostic scan here, these are the codes we've got. Glow plug cylinder 1, 2, 3, 4 and a particle filter. So, she's been having some, we did, we did um, do some resets of all of these codes because there was a few more. But these are the only ones that are returned and the DPF one there. But she's been having some problems where the DPF is, every trip that she goes on the DPF light comes on. But now it's got to the point where it's flashing. So no matter how many times you clean your DPF or how many times you take it on a journey to regenerate it, if you've got any sort of related faults to the fuel system or any of the engine related issues like this, you're going to constantly have DPF issues. So we need to get these issues sorted today and we're going to get the DPF sorted out as well. So because there's a circuit issue with the D, uh, glow plugs, we're going to go in here and we're going to activate the glow plug power supply to make sure we're getting power at it so it's not a circuit problem further down the line we're actually getting power to the glow plugs which would then suggest that obviously the power supply is working so we're just we just have to replace the glow plugs themselves and we'll just go in here and get it to uh, switch on okay we're going to go outside and connect the multimeter and make sure we're getting voltage before we switch it on and it is quite windy outside so I do apologise if we've got any wind nights. So I've got the negative here, don't mind the colour, that's red but because it's not it's, I've got that connected to my negative because I can't find my other one with a clamp on it. And we've got the power positive side into the glow plug socket here. Now we're going to go inside, switch it on. And you can see there we've got voltage moving up. And we'll switch it off. So we're happy with that. So there's many ways to access the DPF on these cars, but I'm going to use this method here. It's a 22mm Kroll's foot spanner on an extension. You can just slip that down over there. And we've got that open. So we can take the ratchet off. And then we can just twist this out by hand. We're going to use this winds. DPF cleaner, filter into our uh, dispenser bottle here. Just going to get the lid back on here. Now we can insert this inside. So we'll take off this rubber. We don't need this uh, adapter on here. So we're just going to put that in there like that. And then we can just pump it up, build up the pressure, and that will pump it all in there. With these type of cars, VWs, you've got to be careful that you don't fill it too quickly. If the fluid fills up to the top, it can go back through your turbo and then fill fill the um, the cylinders with the fluid. Um, which would mean you'd have to open your glow plugs to relieve the pressure so you don't hydrolock the engine. But we're going to be opening the glow plugs anyway on this engine. So now that's finished, we're going to get this out. Because we're going to be changing the glow plugs, hopefully, as long as they're in stock, uh, we're just going to WD-40 them up. Just going to put a catch pan under the exhaust pipe there. So what we're going to do is clear all of these codes. Now we'll start the engine. So now we're going to start the car up, give it some acceleration, hold some acceleration on it for a few minutes. We're just reading the live data, go back, we can do the adaptions, so we're just going to switch the ignition off. Okay, so that's, that's already down to, um, that's already down to the lower level there, so go back in and we're going to read the codes again. We did clear them earlier on, as you've seen. 
Okay, this time the glow plugs, we did clear the glow plugs twice, they returned, but they've not returned just as yet, but I think they should, they uh, most probably will, they've already returned twice. Okay, so we're going to take it now for a test drive. It says the boot's open, so we're going to go and check that. Okay, so the boot is uh, closed, so there's obviously a fault there with that, but uh, we're going to take it for a test drive now. Getting full acceleration. We're going to drive for about 10 minutes now just to burn off the rest of the uh, fluid that's inside the exhaust system. We'll get a little bit of smoke out of the rear end for around about 10 minutes or 15. So now we're going to get the four injectors, sorry, glow plugs replaced. We've just clipped up these little tabs just to allow, allow the uh, wire and loom to move a little bit. And we've got the glow plugs just down there. One, two, three, four. We're going to use our glow plug removal socket. I said 10 millimeter. It's just got a little magnet and all that inside and a flexible head on it just to make it easy to get them out. So I've just cracked it open with the ratchet there now we're going to twist it open by hand. I do feel a lot more comfortable op opening the uh, VW glow plugs rather than uh, Peugeot ones or Ford. Uh, these are usually not usually any problem to get out. Usually pretty straightforward. You can see there quite a red burnt tip on it. Now we've got number three slightly more stiffer to open. But that should be fine. So we're just gonna get all four of these out and replaced. We've got some glow plugs here for the to stick back in, some Bosch glow plugs. I'll just get the new plugs right down in there. And we'll tighten them all up. So that's all it here on the Seed Ibiza. New glow plugs have been fitted, uh, the DPS has been flushed, the car's driving fine. Uh, so we'll see you on one of the next videos.